Hello, so we're back, but this time I just want to share a story with you. Because when it's about electronics, I will uh, admit it, I'm hard to be impressed. But this one, and it's not advertised, this, this device has like 18 years. Yeah, you will not find to buy it. Okay, so what's the catch? This is a media player. And uh, this worked on my house for about 18 years without pressing the stop button or the power off button. The only time when this device was, was off was when uh, Diana came to England and on that moment was off for like few days. But otherwise, I never power off this device or press stop playing because this is connected to the TV through the HDMI. Yeah? And uh, you sleep, the TV is going off, you will never stop playing this. Yeah, You go on the evening on the bed again, you start the TV and you play whatever you want to play. Now, how is possible, yeah, on those days, with when we have warranty like one year, like two year, years, how is possible this, this device actually it's working after 18 years of working without a break? Now, let me tell you the story. The story is like this. 18 years ago, I had my first network, yeah, my first Wi-Fi network and cable also. So I've, I've been like an internet service provider on my town. And uh, the new technology came out on that point, I remember, you know, the Ubiquiti wireless equipment. Okay, we, Ubiquiti 5 gigahertz came onto the market and... Uh, I start selling, you know, the access points are quite expensive. It was like a hundred euros access point, five gigahertz. Anyway, high speed. I start selling, advertising and selling. And I believe I was the first one on that point that television was still a standard uh, definition. I, st I, be I think I was the first in the world selling uh, a full HD television. It was me. So how it was the, the thingy? This was connected to the access point because it has the network, uh, the network port. To the access point, ubiquity 5 gigahertz high speed. And uh, you can set up to download via, on that point, via torrents. Yeah? And you can download any movie. And it was like 10, uh, 1080p HD movies. And you can play on your TV. That was unique unique did i sell this service yeah i had one customer that's all what i had i mean it was beautiful you could download any movie but kind of dodgy you know it was like uh you torrent you know on that time was it was not that restricted and uh, i had one like this on uh where i had my shop and it was running like all day long uh whatever, 1080p, and the people was really, really impressed. Uh, I couldn't sell it, I, I, because this was like 100 euros on that time, and you have the, the access point, which is another 100 euros. Then you have the antenna. No, no antenna. The ubiquity was with the antenna built in. So it was like 200 euros, and I, I sold it to one guy. I mean, my network was like 200 users, but I sell the service, to one guy. <laughs> Just to understand the story behind of this, yeah? Now let's test it. So we have the HDMI power on. And you'll say, sorry, throw it on the bin. You know what? I stopped using this a few months ago when we bought on uh, in the bedroom another TV. But TV, 2023 TV, still cannot read the files this is reading. So I can, I can show you, I can easily read a disk image. The TV can't do it. <laughs> Check here, it's loading, you see it's still working after like 18 years. So you can read files from the USB, from the network, 
I do have the remote. I have the, the hard drive. Play. Check there. I have every... Look, look here. I will show you an image, yeah? I believe this is an image. Let me check. Dot ISO. You can see, you can see it's dot ISO. That's an image. And I can play it. And uh, if you buy a TV on those days, you cannot play images. It's playing. You see exactly what I told you. Exactly what I told you. So I have my uh, my hard drive with usually like cartoons for my kids. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm impressed. So what do you think about this? How this is possible? That's the, that's that's my question. Because here is something to learn. How this is possible for this thingy to work for like 18 years, yeah, without being unplugged and playing the yeah, playing movies, yeah, not on idle, just playing movies. I remember, I I think I remember, I think I opened this one. Also, you have the SATA port here. Check. I think I opened this and I, I and I use some uh, thermal pad, but I'm not sure. Let's open and check inside. Because obviously this has some, uh, you know, some chip, some dedicated chip, which I remember it was getting very hot. So not sure if I opened this before to add some thermal pad or not. Yeah, I did. No, it's not a thermal pad. Check here. Oh, it is a thermal pad. Check here. It's a heat sink. <laughs> It's a heat sink and a thermal pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just tell me you're not impressed. 18 years ago, it was this technology. Check here, this is dust. And here it's a chip, yeah? Which is getting extremely hot because this is something, you know, over my understanding power. How the electronic on those days is dying after like one year. And this thingy, this chip, which is getting very hot, which was working like 18 years without a break, is still working even today. I'm really, really impressed. Probably you can't buy something like that, but it's just, you know, it's just about the... It's just, you know, like 18 years. Which makes me believe, yeah? That's what I believe. That's what I believe. I believe the electronics, yeah, is not really getting faulty or used if it's always on. You remember like on the old TVs, you remember with bulbs or with transistors, usually the TV is get, it was getting broken when you start the TV from cold to hot and uh, when you power off the you know, I can't believe, I can't believe. You know, you know my thing, always trying to get the things better. Check there on the transistors. Check there on the, you see extra solder on the transistor. Check here. You can see? <laughs> wow. Those are the capacitors, right? They start leaking. Probably, probably they start leaking. This one has a bump. Check there, that capacitor. Lol. So that's what I believe. I believe actually the electronics is, you know, is dying when, the, you know, it's a temperature change from cold to hot, from hot to cold. I believe that's the moment when the electronic is dying. Because otherwise I can't explain, this is mad hot. So how this work for so many years, yeah, without pressing the stop button or the power off? Never, you know, it always was on. I can't explain otherwise. So this is the story behind this media player. 18 years and it's still working. 18 years of doing the job. Yes, EG-M34A. You can see it? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. So, yes, I am impressed. I'm not using it anymore because 
now we have a we have the hard drive plugged straight to the TV, and we are not playing uh, ISO uh, images. And uh, I'm not using it, but you know, it's just a piece of history which really, really impressed me. I mean, wh whoever designed uh, this thingy, he knew electronics. You know, he knew. You know, if I w I wish just you know to tell him, you know what, you are good. You design, yeah. A device which worked for 18 years, always being plugged and playing movies. It's kind of you know, it's it's rare on those days. It's very rare. So uh, it'll be it'll be nice if you can tell me who actually made those kind of things. If you know, just you know to have in mind. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. I, I, I was really looking to make a video because it looks fake, but I know, I know this was never power off or stop playing movies. Never, ever. Never. Because I'm always sleeping with the TV on and uh, playing movies. And obviously on the morning, no one to uh, shut down the media player. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.